channel if you're new here my name is marina so we've been working on the island y'all see that oh no i'm loving the island we've been working on it so my house is a little bit destroyed um my laundry <laughs> y'all look at my laundry mountain look can you see it it's okay we're gonna tackle that today i want to get everything back ship shape today because i've been so out of it that project took about three days so i'm three days behind on housework three days behind on laundry Just haven't got to the laundry or the house cleaning yet because i thought you know i'm gonna bring them along with me they need the motivation as much as i need the motivation so we're gonna do it together i do have to homeschool real quickly and then when shane gets home this afternoon he's going to bring home the groceries i noticed in the comments a couple of you guys saying you missed the grocery hauls it's not that i haven't wanted to do them it's just i've been so busy like catching up after a vlog you know getting things done that i wanted to get done the first month of the year and stuff so so i'll be sure to have him show you guys that we're trying to get the healthier route but i'll be the first one to tell you my grocery haul hauls are not going to be like organic grapes and nuts and stuff like that like it's going to actually have junk in it because we're junk food eaters i mean obviously i would have been 10 pounds by now if i just ate leaves i do eat leaves just in moderation <laughs> hey don't they tell you a weight loss to do everything in moderation that means your salads too <laughs> everything they say everything do everything in moderation salads is a part of everything <laughs> my logic don't take my logic or you'll be like 300 pounds hey there ain't nothing wrong with being 300 pounds i'm the happiest i've ever been and i am 150 pounds heavier than i was five years ago five years ago i was 150 pounds and miserable so well 175 pounds and miserable and we just want to get healthier because i want to stick around a while for my kiddos so my grocery hauls will look a little bit different you won't see soda in them anymore but like we we drink soda whenever we're out so we haven't cut it out completely i don't want to deceive y'all the grocery haul you guys will see later it'll have all this week's dinners in it they did leave out a few things i saw on the app already so i'll have to kind of go to hit up food city over here and, and try to see if they got what walmart didn't have it was slim picking this go around but it's been like that for forever now i mean there's not slim picking there's still plenty of stuff it's just like it feels like the stuff that you want they don't ever have right now i gotta get the kiddos dressed gotta make sure i've been trying to have them pick out their own outfits uh my kiddos are characters and boy do their outfits show it <laughs> but my mama's letting go of the reins they have the opportunity to dress themselves as they please because nobody wakes me up in the morning and tells me what to wear so we're getting them ready for that kind of mindset and so i haven't been picking out their outfits i used to do that every morning i would pick out their outfits to make sure they matched and then one day i realized 85% of the time we're home and the other time that we're out and at appointments, which I don't share that a lot, uh, just because it's not, it's not part of my homemaking stuff. But the other 15% of the time, like, who cares if they're wearing a polka dot shirt with heart pants? Like, if that's what makes them feel confident for that day, go baby, go. So I'm going to have them get dressed and then I, I still do make sure the girl's hair and Cammie's hair is fixed and stuff. I've been putting Cammie's hair back because his hair is growing out. So I've been putting it back with the headband and kind of putting it back in a ponytail to help him see throughout the day. Sometimes he likes it, sometimes he doesn't. Oh, will you give me the wet brush out of the thing? There's a wet brush in here? It's pink and yellow. It's not wet. I know it's not wet. <laughs>
clean out the fridge while the kids get started on school. Uh, so that will be one thing off my plate whenever, uh, whenever it's time to do put the groceries up. Y'all, look, Colton's reading James and the Giant Peach back there if you hear him. But this is all the produce. Well, this is all the fruit that we have left. We ate all of our fruit that we got last time. Heck yes. Six weeks old, Aunt Sponge shouted, once at a time, please, don't push, don't push. You're all going to get in. Hey, you'll come he's, back there. He's a, hey. He's a great voice actor. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Guess who's back by What's popular up, demand? What's up, everybody? Guess who's back by popular demand? Get out of my shop. All right, first off, we're going to start over here. We got some... Iced tea, you know, that sugar-free diet. diet, Dollar General tea. It's not really from Dollar General, by the way. Uh, we got some heavy whipping cream. We got some 2% milk. Over here, we got some pepper pads. We got, uh-oh, paint stuff. What is this for? We're redoing holes in the wall trying to fix those oh we're redoing holes in the wall because we're doing 2022 right we've got uh some downy intense scent fresheners we got some downy wrinkler releaser what does that mean ring it slowly releases i think it's like a, cat, a pill capsule you know when they, the pharmacy this is a spray capsules? oh i don't know <laughs> did you not even know what you ordered <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know that. I sure. I no, I sure. Listen to me. We got some odor defense. Because I got a lot of odor. <laughs> we got some scrubbers. Yeah, we were running out of those. Dang it, I forgot to get an air filter. Uh, we got some trash bags. And then I'm going to come over here before I start on everything on the table. And I will show you... We got some paper towels, some toilet paper with the creepy little angel baby on it, and then get this, guys. Get this. This is the first grocery haul where there is zero sodas. I'm proud of us. Two big old things of water, even though I have actually become pretty partial to the water that comes out of our fridge. <laughs> it's craziness. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to the table stuff. We've got two of this butter bread here this stuff's super good i say it all the time you know us and sandwiches uh rena got her some real lemon for the dollar general tea over here oh. right here we got a can of cut green beans actually we got three can yeah we got three cans of it rena's the one who uh, put the stuff on the table today you can tell <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, you just don't have my touch to it. Uh, Rena's got two cans of queso blanco. Okay, we've got some Tostitos queso blanco dip. Come on, focus. How do I do that again? I need your help. Oh wait, it just it just did it. Are it did you it. Kidding me? It did it. It must have felt your wavelengths. Oh my god. Got a pack of eggs here. Uh, Rena for her. Dollar General tea over here. She got some Steve. We got um, a pack of onion recipe soup and dip mix. Right here we got two packs of ranch seasoning. Ooh, what are you making with this? 
Or are you uh, just making ranch? No, I was going to make that Mississippi pot roast. Right here, we've got two packs of flour tortillas. Uh, we got some Lloyd's Barbecue Champ pulled chicken. Ooh, I haven't seen the pulled chicken ones. Doesn't matter. We got a pack of pepperonis. I'm glad you did this because I finished off that I pack know, in the I fridge. Saw that last night. I added it at the last of the. Um, we've got some nooks and crannies English muffin. We got a pack of uh, mozzarella. We got some buttermilk biscuits. Oh, wait, wait. I always got to do the little. Rena's got some minced garlic. Oh, check this out, guys. Look at this. This right here is because a certain someone is having his 21st birthday tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be 21, y'all. Ain't that something? I feel so young. That's your favorite. Tell yeah, I love angel food cake. Like, love it. Oh, yeah. We got some mozzarella cheese filled breadsticks. These things are the bomb.com. We got some wild blueberry muffins. Oh, I haven't had some of these in a while. Uh, ice cream sandwiches. Always good. Always yummy. Rena got some beef fajitas. We got three bunches of nanners. Those things will be gone and out of here like in a day. Apparently we got... Hit your head on the yeah, chandelier. Yeah, I hit my head on the chandelier. <laughs> Um, apparently we got an opened pack of croissants. What? You, yeah, it's opened. What? We got a family-sized chicken Florentine and Farfall... <laughs> uh, noodles? Is that what this is? Noodles? <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Stir fry? I thought, no, I thought it'd be cool for us to try. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. I just don't know how to pronounce it. We got some quick cook waffle cut. Oh, sweet, we got... Chick-fil-A fries. Smell something weird there for a minute. We got two packs of oven <laughs> roast. She took a pee. <laughs> <laughs> she took a shower in the bathroom to show Shane that she was she cool. Was <laughs> what is that? What I don't that? know. It was after I picked up something over here. I smell like uh. Anyway, we got some oven. Look at her smelling our groceries. What is that? I don't know. It, it was something I picked up. It smells like... Crap. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? For real? I don't know. Anyway, you're in my shot. Get out of here. Anyway, we got... Oh my it's, gosh. It's that. We got two packs of roasted diced chicken breast. Down here... We got two packs of the Jack's pepperoni pizza. I don't think we've ever had this kind, have we? We've had the regular kind, but not the thin kind. Um, okay, check this out, guys. Look at this. This is all salad mix. We've got kale pecan cranberry. <laughs> We've got maple bourbon bacon. We've got sunflower bacon crunch. Yep. We've got Southwest. I noticed right away that we had the Save 356 sticker on it. And it goes bad today. So we literally have to eat that today. Anyway, we've got Don't mix. Don't be a Debbie Downer. First off, I am a Darby Downer. Okay. <laughs> Get my name right. <laughs> anyway, we got mixed berry fruit and grain cereal bars. We've got strawberry fruit and grain cereal bars. I thought you could try those. Yeah, I'm those. down for that. I like strawberry. I love strawberry. Uh, we've got some Nature's Bakery Brownie double chocolate. Yeah. Why is it Nature's Bakery? I don't know. It's made out of tofu or something, ain't it? No, it's dates. Oh, I got this for the kids. Be quiet. You just said that too loud. We got cranberry orange muffins. We got a thing of brown rice. We got a big old bag of restaurant style tortilla chips. We have a DiGiorno stuffed crust pizza. Them things are amazing. We got us a thing of garlic Texas toast. Actually, we got two. We got three packs of these itty bitty little cucumbers. Now, you know, you got on to me for buying a, like a crap ton of peppers. Yeah. What's up with all the cucumbers? We eat a lot of cucumbers. We don't eat a lot of peppers. Um, we got these for uh, Joey because she loves watermelon. We got a thing of blueberries here. Marina actually got me to eat blueberries the other day, and I liked them pretty good. I'm not going to lie. We got some iceberg shredded lettuce. We got two packs of Seven Seas strawberries. 
we got these little baby oranges here. You know what's coming. It is the the uh, catchphrase of the channel. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> awesomely Created's channel is hashtag Tater Nation. And not only did we get the regular taters, we got the golden taters. Oh, that, that sounds like something you find in a video game. The you got the golden tater. tater. With this, you can open up a new path. And we got some red taters. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I am sure that that is everything. I am honestly going to sit here and say I'm proud of us because this is a lot of, like, healthy stuff. Healthy. So there you have it. Hey, whose channel is this? Get out of here. Mine. <laughs> Ours. Mine and God's. It's not mine and yours. <laughs> oh, that's... You're just the producer, Shane. <laughs> You have no power here, Gandalf. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this here is our grocery haul. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I hope that it was everything that you hoped for. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Tomorrow, you get another chance. Okay, so here's my menu for this week. Now, I don't follow these days to a T, but... There are seven just options here, and then I go through the night before and just like pick and choose what we want because a lot of them are crock pot meals. So I have to know the night prior so that in the morning I can wake up in time to put the stuff in the crock pot. I get asked about this menu thing a lot. It looks like this is from Amazon. One of my friends sent me this a long, long time ago, and I absolutely love it. We started tonight, so we got chicken wraps because we made chicken wraps and cucumbers. Then the next one is steak fajitas, rice, and refried beans. This is with that queso the stuff I was telling y'all about. Uh, then I got Mississippi pot roast. We do have to go to Food City though because Walmart did not have hardly any meat, which is why you guys didn't see any meat in the haul. Like literally none. And we're going to have that with mashed taters. And then Saturday, Italian chicken pasta. That's the crock pot Italian chicken with Italian, uh, Olive Garden Italian uh, dressing and cream cheese. And then a barbecue chicken croissant. That's one of Shane's favorite. That it's not like croissant. It's crescent, ain't it? Yeah, it's crescent. And fries. We have waffle fries. And then we have the family size pasta, which is that new frozen pasta, the family size one that was in the grocery haul. We've never tried it before, but we're gonna try it. And then the onion chicken crock pot recipe, which is probably the healthiest recipe that's on here, honestly. Um, besides this one, which that I loaded mine with cheese and barbecue, so that isn't totally healthy. But the carb count, even though I'm not counting carbs really, the carb count was pretty low. But this right here, I saw it on TikTok. You put chicken breast, red potatoes, and green beans in a crock pot. And then you put onion soup mix over it. And you let it cook for like all day long. It's supposed to be super good. I guess it resembles that sheet pan meal that went around Pinterest for the longest time a couple of years ago. Where you put chicken on one row, potatoes on the next row, and green beans on the next row. I guess it kind of mirrors that. I guess you could probably do this in the oven as a sheet pan meal and then just put the kind of mix the onion soup with water to water it down so it wouldn't be so powdery and granulated, you know? Because in the crock pot, the moisture will like soften it and up and it'll it'll water it down. But on a sheet pan, you would probably have to water it yourself. But I'd say you could do that on a sheet pan. And then for breakfast options, we got French toast, we've got breakfast bars, sausage biscuits, cereal, or fruit. Probably just go through and pick out what days we're feeling what. And then over here for lunches, we got sandwiches. We do ham sandwiches and bologna sandwiches sometimes, turkey sandwiches sometimes, but they get burnt out on them really quickly. So this will probably be more like grilled cheese sandwiches. And then, <laughs> can you tell we're pizza people? <laughs> we got pizza rolls that were, we already had in the freezer. And then pizza garlic breads. That's where I showed you guys in a video not too long ago. Uh, me just putting pizza sauce like marinara and mozzarella cheese and pepperoni on a garlic bread like the Texas toast bread. And baking it and it's super good. The kiddos and Shane really love when I make that. And then homemade pizza muffins are not really homemade. They're taking the English muffins and turning them into like huge pizza bagels kind of. And then chicken tenders and fries. And then ramen's always an option because we always have a ton of that. So that's the menu for this week so while Colton's finishing up on some school there I'm going to get to tackling this laundry but what better timing y'all on his way home Shane stopped by the P.O. box and I had cards and I had mail even though I told you guys I'll send me none of that I don't <laughs> y'all let me know how you feel about me showing these stuff that people send me 
Uh, does it, man, do you feel like it's manipulative if I show you guys and I thank you guys for it? Like, do you feel like I manipul manipulate your feelings or, or, or passively, uh, I don't know, or maybe passively encourage you guys to send me stuff because I don't ever want you to feel like that. But then again, some of these things don't have return addresses, so I can't send you a thank you note, so I don't know how to thank you other than on here so let me know you guys know you can be honest on this channel how do you feel about that i don't really know how to how to do that to be honest i, I don't ever want to encourage anybody to send anything but then again i don't want to be rude when things are sent and especially if, if it had an address behind it it was sent by amazon prime if it had an address on it then i would send a thank you card and thank you letter but I, it doesn't so i want to say thank you <laughs> for sending me this because right now is the perfect opportunity it's a laundry sorter i was talking y'all about the other day about not knowing how to sort my laundry like how do you do it with hampers this has three different compartments in it so i'm gonna have shane build it here in a few minutes and it's the perfect time to go through and sort this mountain of clothes i also had this in my p.o box um i do know who sent this but i do know who sent this lauren sent this y'all wait till you see this <laughs> on it i love this i love it so much it also came with some beads that she made i flipped out when i saw that y'all know i love anything with my babies and then these right here uh they're like dish soap things and they have the the little pump things which is per perfect timing because i got three days well not really three days worth of dishes a lot of dishes though to tidy up today but i absolutely love these i got a dish soap one and I got a hand soap one. And this one was sent to me. I don't have an address, but it was sent to me by my friend Carol. I love you, Carol. Thank you so much for thinking of me, y'all. Let me show. Oh, did y'all? I didn't get to show you. I can't go in my I can't take y'all in my room because we're still redoing it. Let me show you. I had a fit over on Instagram. Like, I mean, sobbing, snot, and fit over on Instagram when I got this in the mail. Y'all. <laughs> wait till you see it. I'm going to wait to wear it until I do one, another one of these videos, which is coming really soon. I've talked to a friend of mine, but y'all, I want two feet. Listen, I was a sobbing mess. <laughs> I was a sobbing, like, hawking, like mess i got this in the mail um i've like i said i don't want you guys to send me gifts and that's not me being mean i just don't want y'all to spend your money on me i don't i don't want y'all to spend the money on me i don't want you to spend the money i don't want you to spend you know a lot of time goes into some of this stuff and i don't want you to do that like i'm so happy it's not even content like I'm overflowing with happiness when I get letters in the mail and cards in the mail that's honest to God what I want that's why I got a P.O. box to be just friends with you pen pals and stuff and it is taking me a while to get back to my Christmas cards but y'all there was that a thousand of them they're almost a thousand and a few shy of a thousand cards so I'll be sending them through the year but that's what that's what I got the P.O. box for I feel bad enough when you pay for postage and that's honest I feel bad enough when you pay for that so please 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 if you want to send me something send me a letter send me a letter tell me about your family uh, tell me about your hobbies. Tell me about what you like to do. Uh, what movies you like to watch. I'm serious. Your favorite color. Like, I want to know that kind of stuff. I want to put faces to, to screen names. So, if you send me a letter, don't just put your name at the bottom, too. Let me know your username on YouTube so I can put a face to your name. I now have faces to so many people's names, and I, I love that. It makes it feel so much more personal. So, if you want to send me something, send me that. That does not diminish the fact that I am in love <laughs> with this stuff. Like I said, I don't want to, I don't know. I don't know how to react to that. I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should talk about it. I don't know if I shouldn't. I don't know the right way to do things a lot of times. But I didn't want to be rude, especially those that sent things and didn't have return addresses. I don't want to be rude and don't want to be dismissive about the things that you send me and the things you take time on. I mean, come on. I'm putting this right on my door. And I'm making that laundry sorter. I'm well. I'm having Shane make that laundry sorter so that I can get to sorting laundry right now. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. But please know that a letter, y'all, a letter, a typed letter. If you can't, I have a few friends. It's hard for them to write. Um, they got like 
arthritis and stuff and I'm praying for you. I hope that you get to feeling better, but if you can't write, I get it. If you'd rather type, type me a letter. Uh, I, I can't really get back to my email. I'm trying to figure out a way when it comes to emails. All my emails are just smothered in all kinds of stuff. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. Honestly, there's so many brands and ads. And if you're a brand right now and you're watching this, with all due respect and all the niceness I can give you and complete kindness, please stop emailing me. <laughs> I'm not interested. Um, uh, there are plenty of other YouTubers that are interested, but if you're watching this, I know brands watch me. They email me and talk about the videos and the things I've said in videos all the time. If you're watching this, I politely decline any brand offers, and I ask that you not <laughs> drown my people in my email. <laughs> all that being said, I, I'm trying to figure up a way other than pen pals because I know a lot of times it's really hard for some of my older friends on here to write that have arthritis and stuff like that. So I'm trying to come up with a way to make it easier for you guys. As soon as I get the ball rolling on that, then I'll be able, I'll let you guys know. But anyway, let's get this up on my door and get this laundry started because we're getting behind. It's already getting dark and I've still got a lot of things to do. Let's get it done. Let's get the daggone thing done. Let's get the daggone thing done. Okay, so I was able to fit all of my dirty clothes in this right here. This is gonna make it my life so much easier. Y'all have no idea. I love this and it is like heavy duty. It has nice handles, it rolls. I can take this thing off and easily wash it. I love it. And then I have all my dirty towels and, and a dirty pillow and a dirty pair of curtains and one hamper and that is it. That is all the dirty laundry so I didn't get too, too behind. But you guys can see this is more than the ha one hamper I did have. So we're still going to get caught up on it. I got a load going right now. It's not going to be done for about 55 minutes though. But that gives me time to get some other stuff done. But heck yeah, making, making our way downtown. Walking fast. Chasing. Yeah. Gas. And we're homebound. Yeah. While I've been doing that, I have been listening to this shadows book on audiobook i usually don't do audiobooks but this is just a novella it's short too it's like 200 pages it's a novella which means it's a small side story to the luck series that i was reading if you remember like a bunch of months ago gosh maybe like seven eight months ago i was reading the luck series by jennifer l armentrout it ended up being one of my most favorite series ever it's basically twilight with aliens not vampires <laughs> i just thought i was gonna read this i've had it forever but kind of got burned out on the Lux storyline so I put it down for a while now I really didn't even feel like reading it I had just read Stolen and it was such an intriguing book that I didn't want to pop into YA like young adult books right away so I'm listening to it on audiobook and I'm liking the audiobook I mean it, it's okay it follows the main characters brother and his love interest from the actual series honestly through half that audio colton brought it to my attention he's like you were reading with it i was reading along with the audio book while sitting here and he was finishing up his uh look my water finishing up his school but oh no my airpod where'd it go 
But this is the last book that I finished. It's Stolen by Lucy Christopher. It's about a girl who is stolen from an airport and her captor takes her to the deserts of, I was about to say the deserts of Arkansas, but not the desert. Colton's looking for my lost uh, AirPod. <laughs> Found it. Whew. I'd rather lost my left thumb than lose those suckers. Airport, her captor takes her to the deserts of Australia and keeps her there. It's super interesting. It's not, it was a quick read for me. I think I read it in like four or five days, which is fast for me. I give it, I think I gave it on Goodreads. I think I rated it three stars on Goodreads. But first of all, I think I have a thing for the captor, which tells me I have issues. <laughs> Secondly, my favorite character in the whole book was a camel. So that tells you how that is. Also, look at my little, my little TBR cart. What? Did you say you had something for the captor? Yeah, he was actually a really lovely guy. Of course you did, because I captured your Oh, she said, of course I had something for a captor, because he captured my heart. <laughs> But I, he got me this TBR cart and he put it together for me so that I can keep all the books that I want to read super soon on this cart and not have to dig through them in that until I can get me a bookcase. I'm actually taking Shane's old, one of his old bookcases, um, but we haven't put it over here yet. This also came in the P.O. box for all the hangers because <laughs> I think that they saw that I had a little bit too much hangers, a little bit too many hangers. So this is going, this is going to come in handy. We, these wouldn't fit on this part so we hung them up here but it works just as well i also need to clear off this area so that i can put them there because this area has just kind of been my cleaning catch-all anytime i get done with the caddy it always ends up over here and then all the sprays and stuff so i need to clear this off real quick this is actually like a makeup brush thing that i found at ross but i put it there with my little uh tide markers and then this holds my pods and then i have all my like beads and sprays and stuff there and then my hang, my new hanger thing there. I'm gonna get this load out of the dryer and transfer this load over because this one's done. And then I need to get on tidying up the house. Let's try to do this quickly. <laughs> It's like we're running in circles, going around every day. So I had a lot of people ask me if I could put shelves here on this back wall because it looked kind of plain. And I was hoping I could do something like that after you guys mentioned it. But because these drawers come out so far and because I use this as my dishwasher, um, I wouldn't really have room for shelves. So I'm probably just gonna paint this the Stone Harbor Boogie. I'm not really worried about over decorating in here or anything. I kind of like it simple. It's been helping my mental lately just to have things simple. So I'm trying to keep it more that. So I think once I do the Stone Harbor Grage and I'll paint this right here, which I painted white before to have a like fake trim, but it's supposed to be the Stone Harbor Grage as well. See that line right there? Can y'all see that line right there? I literally just painted a line with white to make it look like the trim. <laughs> So once I get that, it'll kind of flow better. Um, but I like it clear, I like it clean. I'm gonna get the kitchen, this area of the kitchen tied up real quickly. I'm gonna try to do it within like the next 20 minutes. Cause I forgot I have to give the dogs a bath because Banks is rank y'all. Banks is stinky. Away from the fray. Let's not get stuck in our worries. We'll make our own way. Won't you come outside where the sunflowers bloom? Breathe in the air. Look up to the moon. I'll meet you outside. Is it an 
Feels like a heavy burden But I can't relate Do our actions even matter? Or is this our fate? At least now I'm feeling better I know I'm here to stay Won't you come outside Where the sunflowers I wanted to show you guys Cammy's artwork. He takes after his daddy. Look at this. He drew a little bank robber. Looks like he's running away. Maybe the cops finally got him. He drew Robin. And then he also started drawing, looks like a kid getting ready to go do some graffiti. I'm not really sure who this little fella is, but he drew him. Uh, let's see. Oh. And then look at that venom. He's such a good artist. Getting stuck in the hurdles. I would mean to get a scrubber for the sink, but uh, if you hear my kids hollering and going on, they're playing them video games and they're playing, they're like fighting against each other right now, and they get really into it, and boy, they get loud. They're playing some of that fart knot. That fart knot. <laughs> 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 I was trying not to find that as funny as I found it. <laughs> They uh, they get they get heated when they play that. But I need to find me a sink cleaner because I like to clean my sink with something other than the dish thing. Not that it doesn't matter because I mean if this is good enough to wash Dookie or not the actual Dookie, but like gross stuff off my dishes, it should be good enough for my sink. But I just like to have a brush to clean my sink real good. I love that word. Artwork, look. <laughs> Which one is it? Um, <laughs> I love it, it when he hangs up like, his artwork. It looks like um. What's the scientist from Phineas and Ferb? Doofenshmirtz. He's kidnapped a grandma. No, 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 that's that. I love it when he hangs up his artwork. Oh, I want to put hand sanitizer in the, the hand soap one. What? The Aww. general. I took my little wiener dog door sign down for a little bit because I need to put a nail in the door. I had it hanging just on a wreath hanger and it was swinging and I was afraid it was gonna split it because whenever we close the door, I'd hear it sling really hard. So I'm gonna get just a little nail to kind of keep it more secure and hopefully that will keep it from banging against the door. I don't want it to break. So I'm, I need to make a middle note the next time I do a warmer grocery pickup to get little nails for the door. If you guys have any suggestions on how I could keep it from swinging and breaking, please let me know too. I thought maybe command hooks I may do a command strip I didn't think of that till just now that might work better than a nail we'll try that we'll try a command strip first hopefully that'll keep it from slinging and splitting down the middle because that would break my heart I just got this out of the freezer it's the easiest way for me to do it I know a bunch of guys say to use cotton swabs I need to try that out too but it smells really good. I forget, that's some kind of Yankee one. I don't know what kind I'm gonna use because I'm still burning this country holiday candle to kind of get through it. I don't know. Let's see what I got. So this is the one that I was using. I was using the Yankee 
Moonlight, Moonlit Night. Moon, Yankee Moonlit Night, that's the one I was using. But I'm not really feeling that one. But most of these are for summer scents. All right, so I've got Island Coconut Cream Sickle. Nothing screams holiday like that. <laughs> I got that. I don't think I'm gonna use that. I got Spearmint. I may use that. Caribbean Sea Breeze. Grandma's Kitchen Pumpkin Cream Marshmallow. Wonderland. Oh, this one smells really good. I got this from from Walmart. I cannot wait till the summer to burn that. Downy is my go-to summer one. These are my favorite wax melts ever. I burn those almost all the time during the summer. Got pineapple sea breeze, flirtatious. Do you think flirtatious would make you flirt with me a little bit? With you Here, sniff that and see. Okay. Oh, dang. I'll never have to use Google again. The search is over. <laughs> Just get you some of this flirtatious. See that right there? With you. Oh, this one smells really good too. Girlfriend knot. That one. Can y'all see it? Is it focusing? Girlfriend knot smells really good. Or do I want the Yankee again? I got this one at Ross. Okay, we're gonna go with this one again. We're gonna mix it with this spearmint wax melt. Oh, I gotta show you before I give the dogs a bath. I'm gonna show you the cleaning stuff I got at Lowe's. So I went to Lowe's the other day for stuff to do the island, and they had a bunch of method stuff there, and just a bunch of cleaning stuff in general. I never take time to stop and look at the cleaning supplies aisle there at Lowe's, and I really should because they have a lot of method stuff. They even have like Mrs. Meyer stuff. So I found me a bunch of things I've been looking for there that I couldn't find at Walmart. Let me get it for you and I'll show you. So I finally found some of these. I found Method All Purpose Cleaning Lots, which I've never seen before. I didn't even know they existed. Ooh, they smell, well, I was about to say they smell good, but that would have been a lot. They kind of smell a little funky, not gonna lie. That French lavender, I'm not a fan of the French lavender, but I still like Method over anything. I think it's really the spray bottles, to be honest with you. I found Method Stainless Steel Polish Cleaner. Um, I didn't even know they made this either. I found all of these Method window sprays. It came in a three pack and I got those because I was like, I never even knew they carry cleaning sprays. And then I got the all purpose cleaner, the three pack of it. This is another three pack. You probably heard Binks and Taylor playing with their squeaky toys. But honestly, the colors ca caught my eye. So good job, Method Marketing. Whoever you are, you know how to get my attention. And then I got the antibacterial three pack colored ones as well. So I got the antibacterial, the all-purpose, and the glass cleaner spray. And I'll probably give Nanny a couple of these because I got this. I've seen a ton of people use this. Uh, I always see y'all spraying spray paint on your window, and I thought, what is that? I'm trying to find out it's not spray paint at all. It's spray away. So I got some of it to try and see if it works any better. I'm kind of going to put these two to the test and see if they work as well as my off-brand Windex. If they work as well as the off-brand Windex, then... Uh, that's great. I'm probably still going to buy the off-brand Windex because <laughs> I, I just got these to try out. I Listen, off-brand Windex is the best glass cleaner, so I'm not looking for a new one. I'm just trying some out. <laughs> and then I got the Wee Man. Is that Wee Man? <laughs> is that what that is? The Wee Man? I got the Wee Man stainless steel. No, I'm not <laughs> Shane likes King of the Hill. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> um, I doubt anybody got that just now, Shane. Okay, um, please, if you got Lehman no, Tanya, No, no, do not go tell them to watch King of the Hill. No, no, if, I'm just saying, if you got the joke, just let me know. <laughs> we'll be friends. Um, I got this to go against this to see which one works better. I have had this brand in the wops, but it just always left like a residue. I don't know, and the wops, I, I, they feel weird, like sensory thing. So I'm gonna try this spray and use a cloth with it, and I'm gonna try this one as well and see which one works the best. This, they both were pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. So the only thing out of this I will be repurchasing, if they're any good, are the methods, because I know that they're good. <laughs> 
with the method sprays. That's probably all I'll be repurchasing. I just really want to try this stuff out. If it's good enough to repurchase, I may think about it. Um, like I said, I just, why buy expensive glass cleaner unless you're holding a, a, a science project like me right now? Why buy it when you can get the off-brand Windex at the Dollar Tree or at the DG and it works like a charm? I just don't get it. But we're going to try it out and see what's so magical about both of these products. I know everyone stands by this one. I don't know many people who have stood by that one, which doesn't give me high hopes because... I mean, I don't know. I love my method, though. Method is awesome. That's what I would use their dish detergent. I love their dish detergent. I love their laundry detergent. I tried a little thing, a trial size of that. Um, I love all of their sprays, every single one of them. I like their foam and hand soap. I'm honestly surprised you don't have signs in the living room. I say that. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't have a farmhouse sign. Don't give me any ideas, because I have a cricket. Yeah. I can make up method sign and hang it up. <laughs> somewhere like if i ever I, I don't do sponsors but if i ever did do a sponsor i would hold off till the method hit me up and then this one um i've got high hopes for this though i'm hoping this works better than the wipes but i'm really hoping secretly as a method fan that this one will outdo this one and then i wanted to try out these really bad but they smell i don't like the lavender scent my favorite um method scent is the grapefruit i think is this one not yeah, the pink grapefruit. I love the pink grapefruit. And I'm guessing that one don't have a scent because they don't have a name. And then the French lavender is okay. Um, and then we got wildflower. We've got citron. And we've got bamboo over here. So I've never heard of any of these actually. So we'll try them out and I'll keep y'all updated. Right now, cleaning wise, making my way downtown. Making my way through this method all purpose. It's so one that cuts grease and grime. I got this at Ross for $2.99. So that's what I'm using right now. But I have used this recently as well. Like it. Uh, this is my favorite fabric spray. Like Febreze spray stuff. I love that. I got that at Ollie's. This one is okay. But it doesn't really have a smell. It just smells super chemically. And here lately that's not been my jam. Here is the off brand Windex from the DG that you can get. That works like a charm. Here is fabric softener spray. This is the spray that you use whenever you can't afford this stuff. Like you have them slow weeks where you don't have the money to get it. You just throw some fabric softener in a bottle and dilute it a lot. In a method bottle preferred because I love their bottles. And use that all over your stuff. Just don't get it too sticky. And don't get it too wet neither. And then here you got to have Dawn Power Wash. That's some of the best stuff. I don't ever use it on dishes though. And then this is the cleaner I've been using on the laminate. Uh, it works pretty good too. I think I got that at Lowe's actually. That's what I've been using lately. I need to really throw another load in here real quick because all my darks are gone. I only have that many lights and this is my colors. If I can get a load of colors in there, then this will be mainly gone. All my laundry will be mainly gone. because I cannot give the dogs a bath <laughs> because Shane is on his phone with his mama. She's having a really hard time logging into her social media accounts. So we just spent <laughs> an hour and a half trying to log her back into her social media account. Now literally almost 11.30 so I'm going to not even, I'm not even gonna read, I'm just gonna pass out. And then I'm filming a weekend vlog. I haven't given them a bath in about 
I say about three weeks. And that's longer than they ever go without a bath. So they smell kind of ripe. <laughs> it's not like a rappy doppy, but it's okay. We'll take care of it tomorrow. But I'll show you guys that in the weekend vlog. And I've got a bunch of other stuff coming up in the weekend vlog. I'll also be showing some of the recipes that I talked about in my menu plan this week. I'll be showing that in the weekend vlog too. So I'm gonna, Shane's still in there talking to his mama trying to get her to figure it out. Which we don't mind at all. So it's kind of fun. But anyways, guys, I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you. But Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all in the next one.